A-E-I-O-U, TIPS, is a mnemonic that helps you remember which letters are vowels as well as the causes of an altered mental status. An altered mental status is something that's commonly encountered in medicine and has many causes, so knowing this mnemonic should help you in narrowing down the causes for your particular patient. To help you remember this more easily, most letters have two causes apart from the E, the I and the U. Alright, so A is for one of the most common causes, which is alcohol or abuse of drugs. You always need to consider this when someone presents with an altered mental status, including prescription medications. A is also for acidosis, which often comes from things like diabetic ketoacidosis and things like hypercapnia, which is an excess of CO2 in the blood, which often comes from COPD, asthma or a neuromuscular disease. E is our biggest list of causes, including environmental causes like hyper or hypothermia, epilepsy, electrolyte imbalances, particularly hyper or hyponatremia, and hyper or hypocalcemia. Encephalopathy is another, which may be acute, such as in Wernicke's encephalopathy, due to the body running out of B vitamins, especially vitamin B1 thiamine. This occurs often in alcoholics and more recently discovered people who have undergone bariatric surgery. Finally, we have endocrine causes such as adrenal insufficiency and thyroid disease. Our first I is for infections, so think sepsis, encephalitis or meningitis. Often people will complain of a stiff neck and photophobia in meningitis. O brings us back to drugs, overdose. Again, you need to consider prescription medications such as benzodiazepines as well as overdoses on things like opiates. The other O is for oxygen. Often, people can present with an altered mental status due to hypoxia. This can come from many different causes, but some common ones include pulmonary edema, pneumothorax or an arrhythmia. Next, we have U for uremia, meaning an excess of urea in the blood. This comes from things like renal failure or congestive heart failure. T is for trauma, such as concussions seen often in rugby or NFL players, as well as things like cerebral hemorrhages. Also, we have T for tumours. I reminds us of insulin. If you take too much, you can end up hypoglycemic. If you don't take enough, you might end up in diabetic ketoacidosis, as we mentioned earlier. We also have intestinal causes under I including intersusception and intestinal ischemia. Now we're on to P for poisons like carbon monoxide poisoning or lead poisoning. P is also for psychosis. Finally, we have S to remind us of strokes, but also to remind us of shock. 